Hey, what's up, YouTubers? It's John Rambo. Um, coming to you tonight from my new ammunition reloading facility. Uh, it's in a top secret location in the mountains of Virginia. I probably shouldn't have even told you that much. It's so top secret. Anyway, I want to show you this, and I'm, you know, I thought I'd show you this and it might inspire other people to do such a thing. All right, I want to show you around this facility. I don't have my tools up yet, but it won't be long and I'll have them back up and running. Alright, what we got going here? Well, this was my original reloading bench right here. I've been trying to wipe it off, clean it off as much as possible. Me and my dad built this a long time ago. Uh, this right down here is original too. Now, this is the corner, just in the corner of my outbuilding. The problem I had was crap on the other side of this wall kept getting over here all over my bench where I, and, you know it got in the way of me uh, reloading so I thought you know what I need a room where I can get up here in the winter time or summertime and, and, and comfortable in comfort and uh, work on stuff so I decided to frame I framed in this wall and I put insulation in this wall. I, I finished, you know, I did the finish work. So I got insulation behind my pegboard. I got the insulation here. I built this door. Um, some of this material was actually scrap material. This lot was uh, salvaged from a, a contract where these would have been thrown away and. Uh, Okay, now this is my the second bench I built, and this one I finished just a couple days ago. And originally, there was going to be a stove here, a little wood stove. I thought it'd be real cool, but then I got to thinking about it. Hey, I just need to get up here, get warm real quick, and reload, or cool real quick, whichever the case may be. So. These lot, these electrical outlets, I actually moved them up from down under here. They were down there. I moved both of them. If I knew I was going to put another bench there, I would have moved that one before I put the paneling on. I'd moved up here, but eh. anyway, I was able to get it, the cord down below there and plug it in, and so and then I bought me an air conditioning. I got a little ten dollar heater here, so you know I get up here and reload in the, in the heat of summer or the the cold of winter. I can get up here and work and be comfortable. Um, this floor, I actually uh, the salvage pieces from my mom and dad put in new carpet in their floor. I put in a piece of padding here and then carpet it. I don't know if I ever introduce y'all. This is my guard dog. Uh, his name's Riley. He is a, a a vicious, a vicious little Yorkie poo. I mean, he will tear you up. I mean, he just play with me, but he, he he he's a real mean dog, as you can tell here. Uh, so he'll probably act as a junkyard dog and stay in this room. If anybody comes in here, he's gonna tear him all to pieces. So. Anyway, yeah, so this might be an idea if, if you got out building need a man a man cave, but uh, more likely it's going to be a workshop for a little bit of everything. I'll have some of my best tools up here. I've got a vise. I'm putting in a vise. I still got to get me a good grinder. Uh, maybe I may get a drill press, but yeah, definitely my reloading equipment. Actually, I may re move them to here because I got more of a lip on the bench. I don't have no lip on this one, the original, but anyway. So, uh, when I get finished, it's going to be cool. Now, this is not a very big space either. Uh, this wall probably might not be quite 10 foot. This building is uh, 10 by 20 foot. And this wall, these side walls are 6 foot. So. Like I say, it's not a very big space, but, you know, 
as a prepper, you, you need to be organized. You need to have, need to have your tools organized. Uh, you'll be able to do things a lot quicker, more efficient if you ain't looking for your tools. <laughs> and you're set up in one spot to do things. This is something I've been needing for a long time. I already kicked myself for not doing it earlier. All right, this is John Rainbow. Bye bye.